In this video, we'll be taking a look at a previous exam type question for open circuit characteristics. Now, before we look at that exam type question, let's just look at the background to the circuit. The magnetic or open circuit characteristics, also known as OCC, this curve shows the relationship between the generated EMF at no load and the field current at constant speed. So first of all, let me just highlight a few things on our circuit diagram. On our circuit diagram, you'll see that the machine operates separately excited. This means the armature is completely separated from the field winding. The field winding is connected to an external uh, D source, DC source, normally a battery. And for our armature, which, which is producing EMF at no load, our voltmeter will be reading the EMF at no load. And our amp meter will be measuring the field current through the field winding. Now to plot this on a curve in order to demonstrate the relationship between the EMF and the field current, on our horizontal axis starting from zero, we have our field current increasing to the right. And for our generated EMF starting from zero, increasing up the vertical axis. Right, now what's important to note is that our EMF, even though the field current is zero at this point on the axis, we'll find that there's a small amount of EMF and that is generated by something called uh, residual magnetism. Let me just write this over here. Residual magnetism. Residual magnetism is the magnetism that is left behind in the material even when current is removed. For, so for our open circuit characteristic, it will represent the relationship between EMF and the field current. It's sort of like a linear relationship, but at some point it starts to uh, taper off. So you could actually go ahead and plot the relationship between the field current and the EMF. At some point it does become uh, saturated. Right, so let's take a look at the uh, exam type question. Now, here we've been given a table, the open circuit characteristics of a shunt excited direct current machine is as follows. We have the uh, terminal voltage and we have the uh, field current given to us and we can go ahead and plot that. Now we need to plot on the graph paper and we need to determine the voltage to which the machine will excite at no load if we are given a field resistance of 70 ohms. And we also need to calculate the value of the critical resistance. Right, so the first thing we do is we draw our horizontal and a vertical axis. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll plot the terminal voltage on the vertical axis and we'll plot the field current on the horizontal axis. And you just need to choose a scale. Everybody's scale will be slightly different. Um, what I've done is I've started at zero and for my current, it is starting at 0, 0,2 and it's moving up in even numbers. Okay, for the voltage, starting from zero, moving up the vertical axis, um, I've got 50 volts, 100 volts, all the way up to 300 volts, and that will be enough to fit in our plots over there if you look at the, t the terminal voltage that was given. Right, so what we'll do is let's go ahead and plot that. So our first plot is uh, we have 50 volts and 0, 0,6, that's our first plot. Our second plot, 1,8 amps and 150 volts. Then our third plot, we have 2,6 amperes and 190 volts. For our fourth plot, we have 3,3 .3 amps for our field current and 210 volts for our terminal voltage. And our final plot is 220 volts and 3,8 amperes. Now, I haven't drawn a very straight line here, but this represents the relationship between the EMF at no load and our uh, field current at constant speed. Right, so now we need to draw the resistance line with a field resistance of 70 ohms. Now, let me show you how we calculate this in order to draw our field resistance line. So, first of all, your first plot will be 0 and 0. That's nice and easy. That's going to start down here at 0. For our second plot, um, we're going to be using our field current, I field. And then in order to calculate the second plot, it'll be I field multiplied by 
the field resistance R field. Okay, now what, it, what I'm going to do is, let's say for example, I'm going to choose a whole number here, just because it's a neat whole number. So I'll substitute my field current there of 3 amps, and to calculate the second plot, it will be 3 times 70, which is the uh, field resistance. Okay, so just, it was there, 3 times 70 will give us 210. Okay, so we're going to plot at 3 and run about uh, 210. So let's do that. So run about 210 and 3, we, where they intercept one another, that will be our second plot. And our first plot is at 0 and 0. Then we can draw a straight line through there and that will give us our resistance line. Now, where the resistance line touches the open circuit characteristic line, Okay, that will give us our terminal voltage, which is also known as the no load voltage of 200 volts. So this is where the resistance line intercepts with the OCC curve. Now to calculate the uh, critical resistance, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose once again just a nice whole value for our voltage. So let's say for example I choose 100 volts, I draw a line across where it intercepts with the OCC curve draw a line down and so we get a hundred volts divided by 1,1 amperes and therefore the critical resistance in order for our machine to operate at um, separately excited conditions for our curve will be 90,9 ohms. Right that's it guys thanks for watching this video.